Today guys, I'm going to explain everything you need to know about gear score watermarks for those that don't understand it. It's relatively simple and it will help you progress upwards towards that level 600 gear score. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so you've probably heard the term watermark being thrown about and I know for a fact some people have no idea what this is and what it's all about and while well, today I'm hoping I can help some of those who are confused out. So basically within New World we have a gear score, a number tallied up based on the items you have equipped. It was and still is thought by many that this number right here is the number you need to build up by using higher gear scored pieces to help better gear drop or better gear scored pieces drop. But in actual fact guys, this isn't the case. Your overall gear score number here isn't what you need to be going off as it isn't how the system works. So for example, my gear score here is relatively low under that 400 mark. This is because many of my items are still box standard basic items, but this number has no effect whatsoever on let's say weapon and armor pieces that drop for me. Gear score is tied to individual pieces, and when I say individual, I mean every individual slot, i.e. weapons, individual weapons, and armor have their own gear score watermarks. A watermark is basically what's known as a benchmark number. So for instance, if I get a beautiful helmet drop at a gear score of 500, that's my new benchmark gear score level for my helmet slot alone. That's my helmet slot watermark. And from here on forward, there will be a range of helmets alone that drop around this gear score level, mostly lower, some higher. I believe it's around five below and five above max. Once a higher helmet drops, that will be my new watermark for that helmet slot. But having this 500 gear score helmet doesn't mean that all my other items will now drop around this level. As like I said, it's based on each individual slot. So having a helmet at a gear score of a level 500 has nothing to do with my leg armor and why it's still dropping at a level 400 gear score. If I'm to get a level 500 gear score leg armor, I will obviously have to build my way up to that by killing mobs and having gear drop that trickles its way up gear score wise. Another important thing to remember is, the game remembers your highest gear scored pieces whether you pick them up, equip them or not, as once an enemy drops that loot, drops that item, even if it's a higher gear score but not what you are looking for, so you ignore it and leave it on the floor, the game registers that item you disregarded with that higher gear score and is now your benchmark watermarked gear score for that item slot. So you don't have to carry items or even pick them up for this trick or leveling system to come into play. So it's why some people may watch this and think that you've had items drop way higher than the item I have slotted. So this doesn't make sense. Well if you take into account items you have had and disregarded because they don't fit your build, the game's remembering that item's gear score. So it would make sense why to sometimes you get much higher gear score drops. So remember, gear score is based on individual items alone. These individual items are all armor slots and all individual weapon types. Yes, even your individual weapon types have their own watermark gear scores. Also bear in mind, gear is obviously tied to your character's level 2, so it isn't possible for a level 10 to be rocking level 500 gear scored items. And also bear in mind, the enemies in which you are killing need to be of that of a higher level than you. You can't be farming mobs of enemies 20 levels below you and expect this kind of system to work as intended. Now what I will mention is, I don't mind a system like this whatsoever. In my opinion it makes the grind longer and somewhat better. But I would like more information on this by New World. Maybe like a quick note in the upcoming patch notes about this system because there are a few things which I feel would be important information. For example, if your best equipment you have had is around that level 40, and you get a level 45 chest reward from a quest, you'll end up with a level 40 to 41 gear squad item piece from that chest if you open it up, which I feel is information people would want to know about. And there's probably more useful info we don't know about this system in New World. So yes, a quick note in the patch notes would be appreciated. 
Lastly, once you hit around a level of a 60, enemies at a level 60 and above have a chance to drastically increase your gear scored items. The system with watermark gear score almost doubles. For instance, level 60 to 65 enemies will see your gear score increase from around a 500 to a 600, which is crazy. But yes guys, this is basically the gear score and watermark system within New World. And I hope it helps you out if you were a little confused about the whole gear score process. Remember, gear score is like a trickle leveling system and it's based on individual slots alone. One high level gear score piece doesn't mean everything else will drop at that equal level. It's all based on that individual item. But yes, we have come to the end of the video. If it helped you out, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more new world, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.